Good morning everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley and of course to Fuzzy Ferret Farm. Alright, let's see what's on the television today. Uh, the spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. Well, that isn't particularly good. We're not going to need to check the weather because if it's raining, it's just snowing. It, it makes no, it has no effect on the game. Um, so we're not going to bother with that. Now we've got four cheeses. We've got some winter roots. Let's pop all of those in there. We've also got a glacier fish. Now, uh, I have been told in the comments that there may be a way for me to display the fish. So, let's give that a try. We'll pop this over there for now. And you presented a bit of a problem earlier, in that I almost didn't get to bed, so I'm going to move you. But, will this work? <gasps> it will! How marvellous! I approve. You can go over there. You can scare the Jojo Mart employees when they enter the house. Uh, right, okay. Well, that is everything we need to do in there. Now, first things are first. First order of the day. Hello, Leaf in. Second order of the day. Potted up. Ooh, our ducks have grown up. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you very much indeed. So many eggs. So good. Nope. Grab that one. I think we're going to be going with duck mayo today. Duck mayo tends to have a significantly higher value. Also, there is a specific place where we can use the duck mayo. Which uh, will be pretty cool. Uh, shall we check on the bats? I think we should, honestly. We should check on the bats. Uh, the bats have brought us a couple of things. We no longer need any particular fruit, so uh, we can just go ahead and, and grab whatever's in there. It's fine. Now, next up. Next up, we want to prepare this area. Now, we've only got the uh, basic hoe at the moment, which is fine for the time being, I would say. Let's just go ahead. Uh, come on now. And hoe all of this out, just ready in case we want to put uh, sprinklers in here. Uh, let me just kind of work out where the sprinklers are going to go. Uh, we would have two here between the sprinklers, two between these. Oh, it would actually be perfectly even then. Okay, well, that's pretty nice. We'll get all of this ready and we will plant some crops today. We won't have all of the sprinklers that we need yet. Eventually, we will, but for now, we won't. There we go. That'll be grand. I'm going to need to get a chest to put in there. Ooh, hello. So many wiggly worms. Is this because... Are you trying to tell me I shouldn't take my, my hoe in for an upgrade? Because that's what I'm hearing from all of these wiggly worms. Is that just like, yeah, yeah, now's the time. Uh, just imagine how you would have felt if you weren't able to uh, dig us all up. Uh, I mean, you raise a valid point, to be fair. Right, now then, have we got any sap? Yes, we do. We've actually got quite a lot. Wow, okay. Quite a lot. I approve. Uh, we've got an acorn there. We've got a little tree growing in there that we want to get rid of. All right. Um, how much wood have we got? Mm, we've not really got enough. Not really got enough, unfortunately. Um, well, we might be able to do something with it. Let me just organize this inventory. First and foremost, let me go and pop this in here. I'm going to pop the mayo straight in there. Same with the plums. Um, the salmon berry, sure. We're going to even sell the snow yam. Uh, we're not going to get rid of the escargot. No, no, no. There we go. This wine... Uh, I, I, can't, I can't decide whether I want to... Keep this wine and give to Rasmodius, uh, or not give direct to, but his uh, bundle. Okay, we need a little bit more uh, fruit. Uh, what should we go with? We'll go with blackberries, I think. But, hmm. or I could just wait and get a, a lower quality one, because this wine is worth an awful lot. No, I, I mean, we're, we're going to have limited means of making money for now, so I am going to favor the making money option. Uh, we will drop off the white eggs and the snail as well. And I think we're good for now. Actually, why don't we make uh, some sashimi? We can make a pepper popper. How much? How many peppers have we got in there? Got four peppers in there. Hmm. Sure. Four pepper poppers. Now we have pepper poppers and we have coffee, which means we can become super fast. Let's go ahead and gobble this down because we want to go and say hello to the cows. Then we want to go and check out. Look at look at how fast I move. This is amazing. Then we want to go and check out the uh, merchant. 
Hello cows! Hello, 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 and hello. I hope you had a very, very nice night. Let's have a look. Uh, sorry. He's facing, facing the wrong way. Once again, trying to milk the air. There we go. Wow. The, wow. Okay. I'm going to keep the, the two gold stars, and I'm going to just sell those. Uh, sell those straight up. And we'll maybe get a... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We'll maybe get a little bit closer to our... Um, there's an achievement for selling one of every type of, of thing. I didn't get it in the first series. And to be perfectly honest, I'm probably not going to get it in this one. But, you know, I'll make a little bit of progress toward that goal. Let's go ahead and drop these off then. Uh, right. Well, given that I've done all of that, where are we going to go first? Let's um hmm. Oh sure. Let's let's go and chat with Clint. We're gonna go and get our hoe upgraded, I think. Oh, there's a crocus over there. Never mind, I'll pick that up a little bit later. Womp. Some holly. I am moving so fast, it is so good. Hello. Fantastic. Now, this is going to make watering the crops that I'm going to be planting tonight much easier. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round. Well, that's fair enough, I suppose. Upgrade my hoe, please. I will have a copper hoe and all will be well. And I almost feel like I'm moving a little bit faster and talking a little bit faster and not really describing what I'm thinking because my character is moving fast and I'm adjusting my thought process to match the speed of my character. Are you friends with Linus? He lives at the tent up in the mountains. Everyone ignores him, the poor guy. He's actually really nice, just a little odd. I don't know why people ignore him in the town though, because he is lovely. I mean, Rasmodia seems to get on with him. I like living on the farm. My favorite is the French ice cream from the cow's milk. Um, to be fair, that is a pretty good thing to uh, to like about living on a farm. Pretty good thing indeed. Now then, where are we off to next? Uh, you know what? We haven't been down to visit the the shore in quite a while. Watch it. There'll be loads of wiggly worms. Ah, I knew it. I knew it. You're just you're gonna make me regret putting that hole in, aren't you? Scallywags, you are. Right, we've got loads of things that I need to drop off later. There we go. You know what, I'll pop that into the produce bin since I'm going to be going over here. I should have gone over here first. Oh, hi, Elliot. How's it going? I have to brush my head daily. Or else it'll clump up into messy knots. Oh, yes. Yes, you do have to brush your hair daily, Elliot. That, why does this appear to be strange to you? I... Uh, you make me cringe a little bit every time you say it. Just walking around with a crow's nest on your head. That's what I imagine. Ah, my lord. Right. Let's go. I mean, it's it's not that bad if you've got short hair. You know, you can get, get away with it. Hey, Sam. So I'm trying to do a kick clip. Enjoy. But when you've got long hair, yes. Yes, pretty much brushing is a daily or multiple times daily commitment. That is one of the downsides to having long hair. You pay for looking awesome by having to do extra work. It, you know, it's, it's, it's a fairly simple formula. <sighs> Hello. Thank you for waving. That's very nice of you. Um, modern tea table. Mm, not, not sold on that one, I'm afraid. Not sold. <laughs> 1,000 for an egg. Wow. I think not. I think not. What we are going to do, though, is we're going to head back up here. We are maybe going to make some more sprinklers. We're going to grab some of the paving slabs, because I think that'll make them... Uh... Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll use gravel instead. And what I mean is uh, I would use gravel to uh, place underneath the... Uh, sprinklers that I would make. Right, what do I need for the quality sprinklers? Iron, gold, refined quartz. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect. Uh, I need a little bit of stone. Okay. I think we're about ready to go. So, let's grab you. Let's grab all of my seeds. There we go. Do I really want to use the quality fertilizer? Um, I guess I do on the things that aren't going to take the entire season to, to go, because I'll get some decent quality things out of them. 
Um, or maybe I should just save it for, for things that I'll get in the spring. Um, it doesn't matter. Let's, let's go ahead and grab that. We'll also bring the uh, sunflower seeds as well, I think. It'll be lovely. Okay. Where are you, Leafin? You're right. Yeah, he was just excited. He wanted to play. Right then, let's get in here and get to work. Oh, I only needed two. Well, poop. Uh, that was a bit derpy of me. Uh, let's get all of these up. I want gravel here. I guess I'll make five and I'll just start placing them down ready. Because I could just go through and make this whole area. But for now, we'll just start with this. Uh, then one there. In fact, you know, yeah, I, I will actually lay down the gravel at the very least. I just won't use up my uh, material to make all of the... Oh, well, we're going to have to have sprinklers on the ground, like, here. Can I actually... <laughs> I can. Oh, how marvellous. Uh, okay, I'll have one more. And we'll place that right there. There we go. Perfect. Right then. So, we've got our sprinklers in place. We're not going to have to worry about the watering in here at all. But we have got a decent watering can, should we want to. We will place the seed maker. I think the seed maker should probably be down here, along with chests and the likes. We'll ha probably have seed makers on that side, seed makers on that side, two chests, and then trees all the way around. It'll look lovely in here. You mark my words, it's going to be glorious. Uh, right, the most important things to get going would be the ancient seeds. And we've got nine of those. So let's um, put eight, and we'll just slowly replace these sides. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Because these take so long to grow, I'm going to plan for the eventual expansion. Uh, no, it doesn't really matter that much, I guess. What I was <laughs> thinking is that if I put a... a um, Iridium sprinkler there eventually, but really I would have needed to put it there. I, I just was quite a derp there. Oh well. It's not it's not the end of the world. We're fine. We'll get the star fruit there. Next up we will plant down the rare seeds. We'll be redoing all of that, don't don't you worry, don't you worry. The corn can go over there. We will have the blueberries there. And we'll just pop down some strawberries. And it's going to look terrible. And it's going to make people's brains bleed a little bit. Don't worry. It'll get better eventually. Maybe. Possibly. I hope. Maybe one day. Perhaps you can forgive me. I doubt it. But, you know, I live in hope. For now, this is just going to be a, a hodgepodge of messy planting. And later on, we'll fix it. <laughs> later on, it won't matter that I have to dig up some ancient plants. Because... I mean, realistically, once these are done, they're going to be coming up. Eventually, this whole area over here is just going to be ancient seeds. Like, I'm going to have these three, probably. So I'll have a iridium sprinkler there, an iridium sprinkler there, and then a regular quality sprinkler there, 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 and maybe one down the bottom, I guess. But either way, this whole area here is going to be ancient seeds, so I'm not really caring too much about how I plant things. Down here, we're probably going to have like five or six of certain plants. Like the, the pepper poppers, maybe even ten. Maybe ten pepper um, plants going. Some corn, so on and so forth. Uh, strawberries are going to be featuring quite highly. Pumpkins, definitely featuring fairly well as well. Uh, the next thing, I think... Well, at 7pm, I could go and... Uh, I could go and fish. I suppose. The other thing we can do as well is I can grab this duck mayo and head to the saloon. I mean, if I'm going down that way anyway, it makes a lot of sense. Let's pop these in there. I'm going to need some more mayo machines given how many chickens I've got. And ducks. Uh, I need a little bit more wood to be able to make a chest. But let's head into the into the town first. I may have some opportunities to cut down some trees on the way. Uh, none there, but we'll be going through Cinder Snap Forest on the way back, so I might get a chance. Okay, so to the saloon first, where we will place some duck and mayo into a secret spot and possibly get another statue. Hello, everyone. 
Hey, Harvey. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Here you go. That's very kind of you. I like this. You're welcome. Now, that wasn't Harvey. Sorry, that was Pierre. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. Robin is busy. Demetrius is also busy for the same reason. I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is there to do? Uh, you're in the saloon. I'm not very good. Oh, don't worry, Sam. Mm, if I give the cue, cue ball a bit of a top spin, maybe I could... Nah, probably couldn't. You're not very good, after all. Should I let Sam win for... One of these days, you really should. One thing I've learned living here, everyone stares at you if you look different. Oh, maybe. I mean, look at me, I'm walking around with a Santa hat on. Okay, so, secret spot. Bomb. <sighs> Pinky lemon. I... Uh, I don't even I don't even know why I went and got that because I don't even like Pinky Lemon. The pressing huh? I guess. I'm sorry, Clint. Good evening, Amak. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break and now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honour. That'll be like the fourth or fifth extra beer you've had in his honour so far. Marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there, because she only has eyes for Lewis. Time seems to move slower here. When I lived in the city, the year went by so fast. Yeah, I guess that's true. Uh, let's have a look. What music have we got? Um, distant banjo. Da -da -ding, ding 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 ding. I guess. Give me another pint of your strongest. I don't think you should, guess. Business has been really good tonight. Oh, or rather, has been really good tonight. If I wasn't so busy, I'd help you dig around that cave by the lake. Thank you, Emily. Okay, I'm done. We've got Pinky Lemon. We are, in fact, leaving. And we are leaving to the ocean, where I shall fish a little bit. And then we will go back to Cinder Snap Forest, where I will hopefully, possibly, maybe, be able to get enough wood to put a um, chest down in the greenhouse. Then we'll start ferrying various... Um, plants over there, and then I can start organizing the inventory in the ha in the chest outside my house. I might at some point move some more chests inside. I don't know. Seaweed, that's good. I'll go in the fridge. A few things I can make with that. <sighs> Snow is quite thick at the moment, actually. It's kind of like it is in real life for me right now. There we go. I mean, I don't mind getting the seaweed, honestly. I, it's going to be useful for me later now that I've got a kitchen, but I really would like to get a squid. I'd super like that, in fact. Oops, I'm not getting a perfect squid now, though. Is it a squid? No, it is a herring. Should have known. It didn't seem to move erratically, and I'm fairly certain that the squids do. The squid may not be something I can ca- Ooh, okay. No, 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 you need to come with me. Come on now, please. Ah, oh, I bet that was a squid too. But, um, I was going to say, it may not be something I can catch, considering it's technically raining in the game at the moment. No, come on. What are you? You're not quite as erratic as the last one, so I'm not sure. No, an albacore. Now remember, lots of just gentle taps on the mouse is generally the best way to catch fish, and I wasn't when we had the really erratic moving one just now. Come on. What are you going to do? Oh, uh, you're just going to sit still for the most part. Fair enough. Another albacore. Two gold star albacore, though. That's very nice. It's 11.20. I should probably head back fairly soon, regardless whether I've caught a squid or not. Okay, you, you really want to kind of hang towards the bottom. Fair enough. We've got a, another gold star herring. Uh, I'll keep going until 12. And then we'll rush back. Come on, you. Another squid. All I want. Just a squid. Please. Ah, that was almost perfect. Halibut. Fishing tackle is worn out. No! Really? How wretched. Do I have a spare? I think my spare is in the treasure chest, unfortunately. Oh, well. 
Uh, not in the treasure chest, in the chest in my house, which I consider a treasure chest because it contains my favourite thing. Uh, there we go. Another halibut, but that is it. We're heading back. Were they gold star? Yeah, two gold star halibuts. Not too bad, I suppose. At least we had gold star things. Hi, Willie. If you really want to get the fish biting, make sure you put some bait on your hook. Indeed. That is pretty solid advice from the fisherman there. I recommend you take it. Uh, do we have enough time to go through some snow? Yeah, we do. We can walk with Leah part of the way as well. Hey, Leah. No, no, I'm talking at the moment. A l little bit tipsy. Fair enough. We'll speak in the morning. Now, I don't know if we've actually got any trees this side of Cindersnap that have regrown. We don't at the moment, but we do in the farm on this side of the farm. So, that will do. That will do. Uh, that one won't, actually, because I'd, I'd end up... No, no, actually, what I can do is get rid of these stones on this side, then chop it in that direction. And we actually got some coal as well. That's rather awesome. And we got a pine cone. Very, very good. There we go. And you know what? Just chop down a tree. Let's be sustainable. Please, somewhere. There we go. Thank you. Bye. It's 1.30. It is getting really, really far too late. Super far too late. I'm not going to risk trying to get the uh, fish into the... I'm not even going to risk trying to do that, actually. I'm just going to go straight to bed. No star leaf in. Didn't do too badly, considering I didn't put any of the fish that I fished into the uh, produce bin. But uh, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that, actually. Okay, there we go. Another day. What have we got? We have got melon wine. What I would very much like is grapes. Grape wine, please. Put that there. We'll also get... Um, sure, we'll actually make some more uh, pale ale. I think that makes a lot of sense. And we'll get uh, grape preserve. Grape jelly, rather. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, oh no, we only took one grape out, so that's fine. See, we can go in there. Everything else is pretty good. Right, what's the fortune teller like? Spirits are in good humor. Ooh, possibly a day for the mines then. Been a little while. I've got an unusual request. Could you keep this secret? I, I want you to deliver an amethyst to Emily. It's her favorite stone. Tell her it's from me, though. Uh, you see, this is awkward, Clint, for a number of reasons. Uh, the worst part about this is I know how this quest plays out. And if I'd had this quest earlier, I would feel significantly less bad about the way it's going to play out. But now it's going to seem like intentional scallywaggery on my part. And that's not what I want to do. Clint, why, why have you got to do this to me? Why have you got to make this hard? Maybe that's your plan. Maybe you, you're just hoping I'm going to feel so awkward. And if so, well done, you cunning fellow, you. Um, I could make a chest. I kind of still want to, but I'm just a little bit shy. I need one more wood. We can easily do that. I was going to con contemplating making a tree tap as well. Uh, these need to go somewhere else, actually. Let's pop those in there. That as well. And we are good. Okay. Um, I need that. I need that. And I need this. There we are. These can go to Gunther. This will go to Emily. I'm going to put the catfish that Lannis gave me into the fridge. And I will make a delicious meal out of it eventually. There we go. I'm fairly happy with that, actually. Fairly happy. Let's drop off the stone that I've got. Don't need it. Uh, we're going to need to get these. Reload them. I should probably make some more uh, crab pots, actually. How much do they require? 40 wood and 3 iron. I can easily do it. The issue is that I'm, I want the wood for something else. But I can do that. Uh, I'm not going to go back to the, the 
uh, freezer at the moment, or rather the fridge at the moment, because I'm probably going to end up with a lot of other stuff I don't want to take there in a moment. Uh, we'll get you up. Thank you. Oh, 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 I spotted you. You will be mine. That is so good. Panning is such a good thing now. My goodness. It is so much better than it used to be. So much better. There we are. Hello. Now, some of you gave me go um, large milk yesterday, so I'm a little bit worried. No? Okay, that's good. Because sometimes they don't like giving um, large milk two days in a row. But no, they seem happy with it today, and we can just go ahead and get all of this being processed. That is super useful. Got that off. We've got gold star cheese. And a bit of extra bait as well. Things are not going badly for us. Not going badly at all. We'll plant this down. And I'm going to try and chop this tree in that direction. Let's go ahead and do that. Some of it may still fall in the water, but hopefully not too much. Or, you know, a ridiculous amount of it, I guess. Damn it! Oh, well. All right, at least we've got our treasure chest now, though. So let's go ahead and put that into the greenhouse. We'll do a little bit of watering, and then we'll head out. So pop that down right there. And, oh, actually, no, we don't need to do any watering. That's right. There's no watering to do. I just need to start ferrying um, produce over there. And that I'll do off camera, probably. Um, or at least when I'm I'm doing a regular watering run or something along those lines. Hello, caveats. John, not not the not the happiest chicken yet. It's okay though. It'll be fine. Uh, right. So the ducks tend to produce their eggs every other day, so that's fine. Do need to get more of those. So grab this, Lauren. Lauren, I, I Lauren. You made me pick up too much, Lauren, because I couldn't... Well, okay, it wasn't you, Lauren. It was entirely me. I was being an idiot. I kept thinking, because it didn't make the sound of something dropping into my inventory, that uh, that I wasn't picking her up. So I just kept trying to pick her up. I'm sorry, Lauren. I tried to blame you for something that wasn't your fault. I am a scallywag. Right, well, on that note... Leaf in. Look. I feel horrible that I haven't been watching this. I've been trying to resist, but if that freezes and your tongue gets stuck to it, it is 100% your fault, all right? I refuse to accept responsibility for you getting your tongue stuck to frozen bowl of water. <sighs> I will still feel bad, actually. And that's the part that annoys me the most. Uh, hmm, what are the geodes? Uh, I guess we're keeping the geodes... Uh, over here for now. Once I've moved all things across, it'll be a lot easier for me. Once I've uh, actually moved things over into the greenhouse, because then I'm going to have a whole chest that I'm able to use properly. Uh, that should be a bit about everything I needed, actually. We'll take the treasure hunter. We'll pop that into our iridium rod. Okay, I think we're more or less ready to go. Yep. Uh, that's about everything. Uh, we'll drop off the fertilizer. There, there was no real point in using it in the end. I just don't think there's much point in using it until much later. There we go. And there. Okay, sorted. It is off. To feel like an absolute scallywag. Uh, Clint, you are a scoundrel. Go move a little bit faster. Okay, now I'm fairly certain tomorrow is someone's birthday, and the day after that is a festival. The festival of ice, I think. The uh, ice fishing one. Let me just double check. Yes, tomorrow's Caroline's birthday. The day after is the ice festival. Looking forward to that, actually. That's, that's uh, plays to my particular strengths, so. Oh, hi. How's things going? One sec, I gotta beat this level. One sec, I'm still, still trying to beat this level. Frogs aren't very happy in the winter. Poor little guys. Hello. 
But yeah, the only good thing about winter is that I get to sleep more. I like at least 10 hours of sleep every night. My god. I it would feel like my brain was full of cement. <sighs> Emily. Oh, my favorite stone. You're so sweet. Huh? It's, it's from who? Oh, you got it at Clint's? Well, I don't care where you got it from. It's beautiful. Thank you. Mwah! And it's not even like I can correct it. I literally can do nothing but be be a helpless victim to this cruel circumstance. And the worst thing is... Uh, Clint, Clint is already upset about... Uh, this is so, so horrible. Why, game? I've been doing a little indoor exercise since it's often too cold to go out. Uh, I'm such a jerk. Unintentionally such a jerk. Ooh, new reward. Collect rewards. Ooh, obsidian vase. Yes, I like that one. Thank you very much, Gunther. Thank you very, very much. I approve of this one. Right, well, that being said and done, uh, I'm going to go in and talk to Clint. Uh, Clint? Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. Angry face. Oh, no. Word has already gotten to him. Ah, uh, Melius. Everyone seems a little happier on the weekend. So what do you think? Uh, not sure about Clint. Let's head to the quarry. Ooh. We have got a ruby. Fantastic. Cut through a couple of these. Go and get ourselves a little bit more stuff over here. Cool. Ah, glorious. We might even get a mining level from this, actually. Because we're getting rock from every single thing that we're um, mining right now. Which means that we're getting a little bit of EXP from it. Which is good because we desperately need to increase our mining level in my humble opinion. It is quite low. I'm not going to mine everything here. We're going to go through a fair chunk of it. But mostly just clearing up some space so that further spawns are not impeded by something already being there. Because as I've mentioned... It seems that the game just randomly selects an area in the quarry to spawn something. And if there's something already there, well, that's it. It just doesn't spawn something. It doesn't look again. There, there are, like, a certain number of chances of something spawning per night, I think. And if your quarry is particularly full, you might end up with nothing spawning that day. I'll, I won't check religiously, like, every week. But whenever I come down, I will try to clear out a, a little bit of it. Uh, right, let's head it down into the mines now, then. That being said, you get my energy bar is low. Uh, huh. No, we really can't afford to. We need to go to the bar first. It's only 250, though, so it should be okay. Uh, I could head at the bus stop and drop off my, my inventory, but I don't think I necessarily need to. I think I'll be okay. Going in and just dropping off the inventory in the chest outside. That should be fine. Oh, take you. Uh, in fact, I might even eat you right now. What do you give? 113 energy. No, you're coming with me. Wow. People. What? Really? People in. What? This is a. F I. Ah, I never knew anyone came here. Even someone like me needs to warm up indoors now and then. Okay. Well, fair enough. I was going to go outside and talk to uh, Alex, but you know what? No, I'm just going to jump in the bath. I was wondering whether I'd keep my sand hat on. There was a little part of me that was hoping I would, honestly. There was a tiny part of me that was like, you know what, it would be stupid, but... I don't know. It would be comically stupid. It, it wouldn't be offensively stupid. I mean, maybe it would be to some people, but it wouldn't be to me, and that's what matters. Now, we've got enough money there that we could start looking at picking up some extra... Um, saplings. Hmm. I think that might be worth it. Get those planted in the little area that I've set aside. Or alternatively, I could buy a bunch of wood and stone and get a new farm building. Maybe upgrade the barn. Upgrading is probably a little bit more important than buying a whole new barn right now. Though, that being said, if I did buy a whole new barn, I could just get a whole bunch of new cows in that barn. Um, and then as long as I upgraded them in tandem, eventually I'd be able to just move the, the kind of populations of the barns around. So, for example, 
Um, for, say I had four cows in one barn, four cows in the other. I upgraded one barn, and that allowed me to get, uh, I think it would... Oh, hi. Hi, Abigail. Oh, can't sword you in the face. Isn't paying attention. Did not block with flute. Uh, I actually respect her willingness to take a sword to the face rather than damage her flute, honestly. But uh, as I was saying, if I got uh, four goats then in the other uh, barn, then... That would not necessarily be a problem for me in the once I had two upgraded bell hunts, I could just move all of my cows to one bar and all my goats to the other, and it would work out fine. Um, am I happy with this? That needs to come with, but that can go in there. So can this, so can that. I don't need any more. The only reason I'm keeping these is because these are all things that I can find on the levels in the mine, so it's not a big issue. Right then. Okay, now the main thing is just to find a way down as soon as possible on this level because there's nothing else really here of any worth. Nope. Absolutely not. We do a good chunk of damage, but so do they. So uh, bear that in mind. This is still not a safe place to be. Still not a safe place to be at all. Anything else? There we go. Way down. But there was some gold and, in fact, some copper over here. So I do actually want to go and grab that. There we go. Wow, okay. This level was particularly nice. The spirits really are being kind to me today. Thank you very much, spirits. You're making up for all of the days that I've had to skip mining because you were in some sort of crazy funk. But, no, this is good. This is good. I accept your apology. Thank you. And, you know, I doubly accept your apology. You're like, well, we could make you walk all the way back to the, the other stairs. But you know what? We'll, we'll give you a stairs over here as well. You deserve it, Alec. You put up with us. We were really cranky. But no, no, it's all good now. There we go. Now, there should be a bunch of coal at the end of this area. They usually are on the mine, tra uh, mine track areas. Oh, and some hardwood as well will not say no to that. There's the stairs down. Hello. So much easier with this sword. Okay. Bunch of iron. Let's just wipe out the uh, enemies on this level before we start worrying about anything else. Nope. Come on. You've got to die. Quickly. Thank you. Uh, anything else? None of the red rocks, these ones seem to not have a shadow, so they are probably not hermit crabs. So we don't need to worry about it. Ooh, amethyst to replace the ones that I, uh, the one that I gave to Emily. Fantastic. But what I mean regarding the shadow is that if it's a hermit crab, it doesn't cast a shadow underneath its uh, rock. For some reason. I, I have no idea why, but it doesn't. So that's the way to tell without having to get close and potentially opening yourself up to an attack. Uh, if we manage to find one in this particular dungeon run, then, or well, dungeon run, mine run, then I'll illustrate it before I get close to it if I can. If I remember. Hello over there. You're a bit of a scoundrel, aren't you? Yep, you are. Because you can fly over things and you shoot bouncing balls of doom. We really need a way down, unfortunately. Like, super badly need a way down. Because these bats will do an awful lot of damage to me. Please, no. Nope. 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 Please, go away. Stop being mean. I've done nothing to you except, you know, kill many, many of your brethren. Nope. 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 Ah! Ah, damn it! I wasn't able to block in time. But that is over with now. So that is good. Ah, right. I need a bomb. A bomb about there will do. Explosions! Now, you're going to be a little harder to kill. Actually, not too terribly bad, though. I am taking a lot of damage. You know what? Sure, I'm going to eat this crystal fruit. Go ahead. Nom. That is so good. And there we go. Way down. 95. We've got a new elevator floor. Good bit of progress, in my opinion. Good bit of progress. 
Anything else down here? None of them seem to be hermit crabs yet. Uh, there's a bunch of these types of stones down here, though, so there's a small chance that one of them will be. No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, right, well, we've got so much coal from this particular run. 14 pieces of coal so far. Very much approve of this. Very, very much approve. There we go. I'm afraid you're just going to have to die in the corner. Oh dear, you've got backup. Well played, but now you've both fallen into my trap. You fools. Ouch, that did hurt. Oh dear, this is not good. It is 12. It is time for me to leave, unfortunately. Ah, uh, alas. Right, what have we got that we can take back with us? Pretty much everything, actually. Sure, okay. Everything is coming back. We're going to the bus stop. Hooray! A successful mining trip, in my opinion. And tomorrow we get our hoe back, which means that we can continue expanding out the greenhouse, which will be grand. Um, have we got any trash we need to put in there? No, no, we do not. That is fine. Right, so what we do need to do then is get all of the things smelted. We'll get the iron going, and then we'll get the gold going as well. We'll have a fair number of that that we're going to need to continue to work on later, though. All right, let's drop off the gems specifically, also the geodes specifically. Uh, is there anything else in here that I wanted? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. Okay, everything in here then. So these need to go in. Uh, oh, we don't yet have any ore in there. Got coal though. Uh, we can turn all of this into fertilizer, but I'm not actually sure if I should do that, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I can move those to another area, actually. That should be fine, so I can keep all of the ore in that one place. Uh, we'll pop these over here instead. Uh, do I actually have a poisonous mushroom? I do not have a mushroom in here that is the right level. So, in that case, that can come out. We'll swap that around, I think. Okay, not too bad at all. Not a lot of money made today, but uh, as as far as things go, that wasn't that big of an issue. It's not like we're really hurting for money, and we've got a lovely vase now that I've got nowhere good to put. I'll just have to put it bit there. Actually, no, that'll get on my nerves. Put it bit there instead. All right, no start leafing. Let's turn in for the night. Made a fair chunk of money actually off the melon one. I forgot we we had that. Never mind. The two gold star cheeses. Wow. Nearly the same amount as one melon wine. And considering how much time it takes to get the melon wine. Yeah, that is really good. And the two gold star eggs did pretty well for themselves as well. Uh, all of the gold star fish did very, very nice for themselves. Yeah, okay, 3,101, considering I thought it was going to be a low earnings day. That actually turned out quite nicely, I must say. Quite nicely indeed. But that is going to be it for this episode, I am afraid. Our house is getting cluttered again, and we've only just expanded it. Oh, my lord. But hopefully we'll be able to start working on that in the near future. We've got... Our money is starting to climb again. We may be able to upgrade some further tools or even look at getting some additional... Um, some additional barns or, or chicken coops or even have a look at the storage shed and that I think we're probably going to end up using the storage shed for things like the kegs and the preserve jars I think that would be a lot easier to keep in a specific building for them and that way it would also free up the house so I could decorate it a little bit nicer. But yep, that's going to be it from me. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like if you liked and sub if you haven't. But until next time, do take care.